Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from ClicksGeek. And today's video, we're gonna go through how to find out how much keywords cost, right? So how do you even figure out what it costs to run ads on Google when you're uh, bidding on keywords? So really simple explanation on how to do that. We're gonna dive into that in a minute. Before I get started on that, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Lots of free trainings and courses and all kinds of cool stuff. All right, that said, let's dive into it today. So we're logged into our Google Ads demo account. Now, you're trying to figure out how much a keyword costs, right? What it's gonna cost you per click to run ads. So the easiest way to do that is to use Google's Keyword Player. It's a free tool that Google Ads offers. So go up, I don't know if you can see, a little wrench icon, tools and settings. You'll have a drop down like this. We're gonna come over here to Keyword Planner gonna open up the keyword planner we're gonna go choose discover new keywords and here's where you're gonna type in the basically the theme of what your campaign is gonna be so let's say you're a uh, you're a limo company in Philadelphia right because I'm outside of Philadelphia so let's do limousine Philadelphia if I can spell it right All right, so we're gonna add our main keyword. I'm gonna move this over here. We're gonna, we added our main keyword, Limousine Philadelphia. It's gonna give us a bunch of suggested suggested ideas of uh, different keywords. So we'll expand that a little bit. You can see here it's gonna give you the search volume for all the keywords. So Philadelphia Limousine Service gets 480 searches a month. Now that is, that is nationally, so you want to change that. So if you're looking, let's say we're a limousine, you, you or your clients, a limousine company in Philadelphia, you want to actually put the locations they target in the location targeting, because it's going to give you the truest results, search volume and price wise. So let's get rid of the United States, just do Philadelphia. Perfect. Right. So limousine, Philadelphia, 210 searches, top of the page bid, low range. 65 cents top of the page bid high range two dollars so it's giving you it's google's estimate of what it's going to cost you per click on these keywords right so philadelphia limo service limousine service um great keyword nice search volume low end 94 cents high end two dollars and 28 cents now what would i do here it depends on the situation if if i'm doing it correctly and i have time um, I would set a maximize clicks bid strategy with a top uh, max CPC bid limit of three dollars, just so I, I give them room to go past to get more um, more traction faster, and uh, let Google's auto bidding do its thing and get me as many clicks as possible, and let them decide what to pay per click. Or what you could do if you're doing manual bidding, like a lot of people still do. You have your low range, you have your high range, just meet in the middle, right? That's the easiest way to do it. And then adjust up from there. It just keep in mind it could start out slower. Same with maximize clicks. It does take a few days to ramp up. It's not an immediate day one thing. Now, if you want an immediate day one thing, you need leads fast, you need calls fast, then I would I would build the campaign and I would set the uh, I would do manual CPC and I would set the bids at four dollars. I would just go I would go way over suggested the suggested top of the page bid and um, see where it shakes out because I want the clicks to be the phone calls fast um, so that's what I would do for that if you need it fast but if you want to do it right take your time with it and incrementally you can increase but this is how you're gonna find all of your keyword bids pretty cool and you can sort by high to low so luxury sedan service Philadelphia six bucks Philadelphia limo service rates four bucks so you're gonna catch a lot more with a higher bid obviously it really depends on what your budget is I mean if you're a limo company I highly suggest that you're running at least 25 to 30 dollars a day Monday through Friday budget to, to get good results um, if you're running 10 bucks a day you're gonna, you know you, you'll get a few phone calls a week but you're not gonna get anything crazy so yeah that's how you will find your keyword um, what you're gonna set your bids at for your keywords Really simple, you get your search volume here. The name of the game with Google Ads too when creating your campaigns, obviously we want volume. So you wanna add, I know it's a pain in the ass, but if you don't know how to build 
Google Ads campaigns or ad groups and keywords and add all that together, please go back to our, our channel, the Geek channel, and watch me build one from A to Z, and I show you how to build out the ad groups with the keywords and all that. You want to have as many keywords as possible. Just think of them like this. Think of them as little fishing nets you're throwing out there in Google. They're all going to like bring back in phone calls and, and form submission leads for you. right? So it can be tedious and a pain in the ass to build them out, but you only have to do it once, and then you just have to optimize it, which is the easy part. So you build it once. If you do it right, structure it correctly, like I show you in our channel, then all you have to do is optimize it, and you'll have little fishing nets all over the place capturing traffic, leads, phone calls, everything for your company. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I will see you in uh, tomorrow's video.